In a photographic inventory, a researcher systematically takes photographs of their topic of study. I am referring to an actual, not virtual environment, since the latter requires different techniques. This visual research method may be implemented once, though more often it is performed in multiple iterations of a study. The photographic inventory described here draws from John Collier's handbook, Visual Anthropology, where it is called a cultural inventory. Collier refined the method in his photographic surveys of indigenous homes in the Andean Sierra of Peru. Though designed as a means to study the material and social culture within the home, this technique can easily be adapted to other kinds of topics, spaces, or work settings. It creates rich visual documentation of one's research topic that can be more detailed and comprehensive than data gathered through observation, field notes, or interviews. Here are steps for the photographic inventory. Determine that photographs can capture your topic of study. Identify relevant sites to photograph and obtain access and consent. Acquire the necessary tools. A digital camera or smartphone with a camera will suffice. Develop a shooting guide, which is the visual equivalent of an interview guide. It outlines what will be photographed. Though not mentioned by Collier, my experience is that the photographic inventory is enriched when an informant directs the researcher towards the most relevant objects and views acting as a tour guide. Upon conclusion, the photographs are subject to visual analysis. My own research into information in the hobby of gourmet cooking demonstrates this technique. I conducted photographic inventories in the homes of 20 gourmet hobby cooks. My informants led me through their homes, pointing out culinary information as I took photographs and asked object probes such as, what's that and how does that work? My shooting guide lent structure to the process. It specified consistent shot sequences of individual items of interest, collections, and then rooms. The process generated more than 500 photographs and helped me describe the personal culinary library and to create models of information use in the hobby of gourmet cooking. This visual research method is not without problems and limitations. It can be challenging to obtain access to some settings and permission to take photographs. It is not an ideal technique to document digital phenomena or immaterial concepts. Informant privacy and anonymity must be carefully respected. Good luck with your photographic inventory.